Hello fellow AGD coders and welcome back. And today, as you've seen from the title, we're looking at something that I've called Screen Magic. And uh, this is basically a transition between different screens as you're playing the game. So let's take a look first of all at uh, just the standard AGD screen transition. And uh, I'm using a game which I've actually converted from 4.6 to uh, AGDX 4.7. This is Andy Johns's game, Monty Mole and the Temple of Lost Souls. And as you can see, as with uh, pretty much all AGD games, when you go from one screen to the other, we get the flip screen. That's the classic sort of uh, spectrum game effect. Now, one or two people were asking me, would it be possible to do something like we've seen here with uh, Airwolf? This is the modded Airwolf with the new sprite that I added. Um, worked with uh, Craig Howard on that and as you can see when you go from one screen to another it scrolls to the left or to the right. Now I'll be honest I'm not crazy about this effect I think it's uh, a little bit slow and a little bit cumbersome but uh, a lot of people seem to like it and um, it does I suppose add a little bit more atmosphere to a game uh, so I thought I'd give it a go and see if I could figure out a way to make AGD do exactly that and uh, that's what I've managed to do so I'll show you now how to basically install this into uh, your AGD game it will work in any game and uh, it's just a case of making some space and uh, uh, imp implementing uh, some code so the first thing that we're going to do then is you have your game open you'll need this version uh, 4.7 x 4 IE so um, or later obviously at the time of uh, making this video that's the most recent version and uh, this has the option to control the pointers and more particularly it can create space below the uh, sprite data which is what we're going to do here to allow us to create a space to put the code in so the first thing you need to do is make sure that you have edit pointers switched on here once you've done that you'll be able to create some space uh, below the sprites. So if you move down here to sprites you can see here this is where sprites normally data begins and we're going to push that up and that will push all the other data up as well. So we press control here. I'll just move that pointer out of the way as well. So we'll press control and four here. We'll press it four times and as you can see what that's done is that has created 400 bytes in uh, uh, th that we can now use. Now what we need to do then is go into the screen editor, take a look at a couple of screens and come back. That'll just allow AGD to rejig itself. I found that, that crashes can happen if you don't do that. And as you can see here now it's telling us that we have now used or reserved 400 bytes of memory so there are now only 96 bytes left. And um, you can see here also that the position of the sprites has moved up by 400 bytes. The next thing we do, we just go in, make sure that we've done it correctly. If everything is fine, then the game will run as normal. And of course, we haven't um, installed any code yet. But it's worth checking that you've done it correctly at that point and make sure it doesn't crash or anything. The next thing we do then is, uh, and this will be available in the zip file, is we go to load binary data and we choose the uh, code, which is... Um, this one here, 36944 screenmagic.bin and uh, basically load that in at 36944 which is obviously where the sprites used to be but we've pushed them up by 400 bytes. So that's uh, that part done. The next thing we need to do then is redirect the code. So we're going to redirect the commands for screen right and screen left. So we'll go to the screen magic poke open that, just shift that over and we patch it in like this. Now currently of course it is only horizontal, I haven't implemented vertical yet but uh, I'll get around to that eventually and perhaps then we'll do an update. Now the final thing you need to do is go into the player code here or any code which uses screen left or screen right. Now obviously that's pretty much always going to be just the player code so here screen right and screen left and then you just save it and what that does is it recompiles the code and it points it to, to our new code instead so that now when you run the game 
let's uh, give that a go. Uh, we should find that it, uh, it works uh, now perfectly fine. So let's use the code. Let's have a look now. Uh -huh. We'll make it over this little snake and there we go. So as you can see, it's now loading in the same way that the Airwolf game did. And uh, it's just a transition really. Obviously you can't move the sprites or do anything like that. Um, it's just lo it's literally just loading the screen in a perhaps a slightly more aesthetically pleasing way. So yeah, there you go. And it would obviously make it look a little bit less like uh, like your reg regular AGD game, I guess. It's a nice little touch to add. Okay, so as I said, I'll probably get around to doing uh, the vertical ones as well at some point. Uh, just a little technical challenge I set myself the other day and I hope you find it useful. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll be back with another video. Obviously, as I said, it's available in the Dropbox, so download there. Please remember to uh, like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we also have a new Facebook page, which is the ADDX user group. You can join us on there and you can ask me questions directly. I'm quite active and always happy to hear from you. Okay, so in the meantime, as always, happy coding. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.